In this presentation, we're going to see how Autodesk Ecotect Analysis can be used to perform lighting analysis of the terminal building. Autodesk Ecotect Analysis can be used for a wide range of building performance analyses, ranging from shadowing and daylighting through to thermal and acoustic. First thing I'm going to do is just create a cut plane so I can see inside the building. So using my visualization settings, I'm just going to create a cut plane like so, but doing this will still enable the results to be taken into account as if it was a closed building. I'm just going to add some transparency, and what we can do with that transparency is just get an understanding of uh, the analysis results underneath this mezzanine, and just going to turn on the analysis grid. So I've set the analysis grid to be formed with inside the walls of the building itself. What I'm now going to do is start the analysis. So using Calculate Lighting Analysis, I'm only interested in natural light levels at this point. Just going to step through. It is set to calculate the results over the analysis grid. And I'm just going to set the ray tracing level to about medium. The higher you set it, the longer the analysis will take. At this stage, I'm fine with a low to medium setting. Just going to step through, I can choose the design sky luminance. This uh, instance it's based off of the latitude, and I want to base daylighting off of an overcast sky. Step through, I can change parameters such as window cleanliness. Here, for example, we've got it set to average, and let's just carry on through. Now, once we've done that, it's ready to go in and start performing the analysis. So it's now going to perform the calculations and return the results to us. The complexity and size of model and also the level of ray tracing used will impact the time it takes to get results back. If you're looking at doing several iterations, I'd recommend you start with the simplest form possible from the outset. Once the results are presented back onto the analysis grid, you'll see that we can look at them in more detail. We could, for example, add contour lines to the results or show the node values. We are also able to look at different sets of results for the type of analysis performed. So here we have daylight level shown, but we could also look at factors such as daylight factor or you know, the internally reflected component within the space. With that information, we're able to export that as an image and use that in an external application. And we're also able to generate a report with the data collected within it. So what we've seen is that Ecotect Analysis is a useful tool in analyzing the building from the earliest stages possible. It helps us to make more informed design decisions with the goal of making the most sustainable building possible.